Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin. Good morning, everyone. Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel to another video. I'm sorry, I promised you a video and I haven't been around. It is Paul's fault. He looks at me with those blue eyes and I can't get anything done. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul's been off. I'm still in my dressing gown. I'm about to go get dressed. Um, and Paul um, is going to do his own thing today. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go and get some American groceries. And I'm going to, I'm not going to bring you along because I'm not allowed. But I'll show you. Because stay out of it. You see what I mean? He's always always trying to distract me <laughs> um so yeah um he is just making himself some porridge and i'm gonna go get dressed i'm gonna make the beds get dressed and then go uh, i'm gonna show you what i get once i'm back uh, i intend to also have a, a jack of potato while i'm there they do spuds so i'll be having that and i'll show you but yeah just come along with me Let's get <laughs> let's get dressed. He does this when I'm trying to take pictures with my boys. He's always like angling. Look, <laughs> just <laughs> so cute. Okay, guys, I am about to leave. Got some sweets for the journey. My bottle of water, handbag. I'm using my Teddy Blake handbag. You guys remember that I did a collaboration with them last year or the year before? The year before, I think. Still love this bag, still looks immaculate. But anyway, not sponsored. Um, yeah, I've got that, got my water, I need my glasses and I'm ready to go. So let's do it. So I'm back, you guys. I'm gonna start by showing you all the freezer and fridge stuff so I can put it all away and then I'll have a proper catch up. Some of these chicken, crispy chicken strips. I thought these looked really good, 100% natural. They're frozen. Um, I thought this would be great in a, um, I love making a wrap salad, chicken salad with these. It's so delicious. So anyway, I've got some of those and obviously everyone else will eat them. These, because these, are very much loved here by Paul and Alex. If you guys remember, there is something very similar, obviously in Italy, but it's not for sale anywhere at the moment. So got two of those. These are $3 something. Got some butter. Got a little four cheese Mexican mix there. I also got some chicken tenderloins, boneless and skinless just to have in the freezer is always handy as well as this this is a bit of a punt i've had this before and i like it but it's like a bit of fast food if you know what i mean i also got the best heart cream in the whole world love this got a little pot of that we also got some cinnamon rolls the cinnamon cinnabon brand there whatever just to try that out. I'm not sure if I've had them before or not. And I got a pack of this, these biscuits, just to have in the fridge as a, um, till the 21st of January, actually. I've just noticed in this one, 29th of Feb. Yeah, but I can add this to a meal. And I got a little thing of sharp cheddar, which by the way, has nothing on UK cheddar though. Um, but it, you know bridges the gap if you know what i mean what else i got so alex said that uh, he said basically yesterday i really miss bagels i thought well don't worry my love i have some bagels for you i also got some of this texas toast bread this is delicious it is super expensive it's like four dollars 39 I find the bread, US bread, is really expensive. So $4.39 is probably just under four quid for a loaf of bread. That's mental. Anyway, two things of vinegar. I use these for my clothes, um, mainly for towels, but I also use it for cleaning and I use it in the dishwasher 
as well. So yeah, love this. Ramen, this is um, everyone's favorite. I also got some of these veggie straws, the zesty ranch ones. Paul and Ozzy love this, love it. So I've got some, also got him some Chico's as well as this um, Fritos honey and barbecue. Uh, so that's for Paul and Ozzy, like I said. Alex and I just like um, ready salted and we can get that from any supermarket. Oh, I just realized I got the wrong one. I got some of this to try because we've never tried this like pudding. But I wanted the vanilla one and just realised I've got the banana cream. No one's going to eat that. God damn. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be fine. I also got corn mix. Corn muffin mix. To, you know, handy. Got some of Maria biscuits as normal. This is my favourite all-purpose seasoning. Love this. And this is quite affordable. It's $1.29 dollars of course um i really like it quick oats for paul's um he likes having his porridge i also got some of this pie filling i'm gonna try and do at some point a cobbler and i thought let me just get that and see if it's any good and then i got a load of nutrigrain uh, i got two flavors raspberry and blueberry and that's blueberry as well and two crunch Nature Valley Crunch. I also got some of this as a surprise because I can never find Mawams here. And to have found it, this was like $6, which is quite a lot, but it is massive bag. We are huge fans of this, so this will make everyone happy. And then I also got these two things of pouches for Aussie yogurt and apple and All of that I showed you was from the commissary and I'll put here on the screen how much I paid there. I think it's like $150. I'm not sure. Um, but I also went to the BX, which is like their sort of um, like home store. Yeah, I don't know what to call it. I'm trying to think what it would be like in the UK. Um, maybe like a Debenham, something like that. But much smaller you know like so they sell toys they sell clothes they sell uh, home stuff but they also sell cards and treats that kind of thing um so let me show you what i got there i picked up a muffin tin now before we left the uk all my trays and tins i used to keep them in the oven of my cooker and they packed up the house but left all of that behind, so I had to throw it all out. It was They were all old anyway, but I haven't yet bought a muffin um, tin. And actually on Christmas Day, I was trying to make um, Yorkshire puddings um, and I didn't have this. I ended up trying to do something else and they didn't come out very well. So I just bought this. This was $8, I think. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. $7.97, yeah, $8, which is not cheap. But anyway, I also got some more of these. I already have a set, but I really, really like these. So I thought, let me just get another set. These are like pot holders. What do they call it? Pocket mitts. I really like these to pick up stuff from the oven. I'm not a big fan of the oven mitts, and I end up using this or one of my cleaning cloths to just pick it up so these really work and I actually have them let me show you by the side of the cooker if you can see there there oh there so I just got another set um yeah really love those I think those were six six thirty no they were not they were six thirty nine yeah I was right um I also picked up some liquid soap or oh, is it leaked it was a bit greasy just because I needed some. Um, this was three fifty nine. It's massive. How much? One point four seven liters. Not bad. It's making my hands sticky. Though, so, uh, what else did I get? I picked up a French pink clay peel off mask. Pore pore clearing. 
this was again three something three forty nine. Uh, 3.99 3.99 i am not a big fan of them the mask sheets i just they never sit right so i thought let me get i have not bought anything like that in ages so i got some i also picked up sally hansen diamond strength hardening because you guys it's it's not good any help any help will be greatly appreciated so I, I just got that and I, I really like this brand they have it in the UK as well I've used them for years and um, so yeah I got some of that that was six that's 639 it was and then finally just picked up a cocoa butter cleansing bar I, I don't know it just looked good they had a lot of different bars um, for, for that purpose Oh, that smells so good. It smells like really clean. Ambi. This was really affordable. This was 189. So, oh, I love the smell of that. So yeah, I can't wait to try it. I'll, um, I'm sure I'll let you know if I like it or not. And that's everything I got. So at the BX, it was 30, $30 that I spent, which is not too bad because you guys know what I'm like then. So yeah. That is going to be it for this video. I know you guys are probably, <coughs> excuse me, looking for a more of a vlog kind of thing. I really miss my vlogs, but like I said, it's been so hectic. I'm going to wait. Paul's going back to work next week and then things will be back to normal. Um, so I'll see. I'll see if I can do one by the, by the weekend, but I'm not going to promise so you won't be let down. But yeah, that is it for today. I hope you're all doing well. I will catch you guys in the next one. To the city streets, we begin to feel the fire.